special guest reviewer this week is Jason Rose, producer of films like Chef and Jane Got a Gun. And the first film we reviewed was It's Better in Italian, directed by Jordan Letty. The film isn't publicly available just yet, but you can keep up to date with the film at its website. The link is in the description below. Let's go on to our first short. It's Better in Italian, written and directed by Jordan Letty. Or Letty. Um, it's a documentary about the world of elite Italian dub artists, which is still a very common practice in Italy, dubbing over American films in the Italian language. It screened at, it screened at Palm Springs, Santa Barbara, and Nashville, and it won the best student film at the best Palm Springs Film Festival. It's 45, 40 minutes long, which is pretty long for a short film, but I would say it, rarely for a short, really deserves these 45 minutes of time. Uh, probably, definitely the best documentary short we've ever seen um, on this show. Um, the guys are unsung heroes. They're hilarious in their own right. Um, Kevin, this was your pick. Tell us why you like this one. I guess I liked it because it, well, first of all, it is very sweet. There's something very nostalgic and lovely about it. Um, and I guess I just kind of got wrapped up in the anthropology of it all. It's like watching a movie about a, a language that's sort of dying. Um, and there's just so much interesting history that you find out about um, why dubbing became such a popular practice in Italy. And, it's and what, just, why was that? Why did we learn that? Well, because the first movies that uh, Italians watched quite a bit all came from Germany. And so there was, first of all, the, the language barrier. They had to do something about that. But also Mussolini was in power at this time. And so um, it was also a censorship issue. Yeah. Um, and you, they couldn't really do subtitles because a lot of the population was illiterate. So oh, they wound up dubbing movies. And it just became the thing that they do in Italian still to this day. Which, by the way, I only know that because I watched this film. I'm no <laughs> sort of expert on uh, you know, Italian dubbing or anything. Um, and it was just, it was just fascinating to watch how these people really inhabit these characters that someone else played. It's like this extra weird meta level that happens, right? Because it's not like, you know, if you're an actor, you're, you're taking on the characteristics of a different human, right? You're playing a character, but these guys are playing actors, playing characters, right? So there's this, I don't know, it was just... It was just a neat thing. But it's watch. also, there's another level to it because they keep saying, it's like three times it comes up that they're almost synonymous with the actor. Right. Like they even say in one case, was it De Niro or, or um, Robert, anyway, that they wouldn't take a job because it would be wrong because it was like right. this person's job. Right. This guy is Elijah Wood or Robert De Niro or Sam Jackson. You right. can't, it would be wrong to do that. And well, it, it was like such a... You see, it, there's a, there's a passion in that that's kind of unique, right? Yeah. Because it's it's not it's it sometimes even says they don't really sound like them, but we know them as this person now. Yeah, and so, they say that's much more impactful. It's right. like when one guy plays De Niro for 16 years, yeah, exactly. Yeah. People love De Niro. Where they said Bruce Willis got played by 10 different actors, yeah. so nobody in Italy likes Bruce Willis right. because he has no identity. Yeah. Right, like because the identity is so tied to. That voice. That voice yeah. and the language and the inflection and all that kind of stuff. Well, for yeah. us, it's just consistent, but they've just learned to know this person one way. So I'm, I imagine it would be really jarring if you sit down in the theater and you're expecting to hear, you know, Sam Jackson's right. voice yeah. come out of Sam Jackson and, and all of a sudden De Niro comes out instead. Like, yeah. that would be weird. That would be very weird. Yeah. And it's such a hard craft. I mean, these guys, I think they say they get a one watch of the film, maybe, beforehand, and then they gotta yeah. jump right in and right. deliver those That's lines. pretty freaking amazing, I gotta yeah. say. I mean, I don't know, the movie didn't say that that's what always happens, but there were a couple of guys who spoke about how they didn't get tons of rehearsal, and then, of course, the kid who's been Elijah Wood since exactly, he was five, yeah. talked, you know, he spoke about how, except for in one instance, he shows up and that's the first time he's seeing the movie. That was actually my favorite part. When Elijah comes in, if you guys haven't seen Elijah comes in and you get to <laughs> the interaction because he's been talking about how much he's wanted to meet him and what he would say. And right. then he's like, oh my God, he's starstruck and he's sitting there. But it's actually kind of a beautiful moment because they watch the footage. Right. And you get to see Elijah like covering his mouth and just astounded that this guy, not only the sound, the inflection and everything, but the fact that he's been doing it for 30 years or something? For a long time. Yeah. For and, a very, very long And the, time. the funny, the, the button at the end of that is that um, 
a couple times they talk about how humor doesn't always translate over, right? American humor isn't necessarily Italian humor. Right. And at some point, I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, Elijah's so shocked by him saying, we only get one pass for the most part, except for like one movie. Right. And uh, Elijah goes, shut up. And he, and he just stops. He doesn't know what to yeah. do. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that's one of those things. Yeah, no, that's really it was, it was adorable. And they, they cut, because I'll bet you it got really awkward, because he really did sure, shut sure, up. Sure. But uh, yeah, they cut to it, and they had a really nice conversation. It was the most beautiful part of the movie, I think. Yeah, it, it was really fascinating to watch how, you know, you mentioned how the guy was starstruck. Elijah was kind of starstruck, too. And you have to imagine that that was a surreal moment for him. Um, well, he was, know, Elijah was clearly playing, you know, very uh, gracious towards this guy, but what's weird is these guys aren't even famous in Italy. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're basically right. saying that we're not known in Italy yeah. either. Right. And that's but their voices weird. are known. Their, their voices, voices are, are known, known, but not their identities. And that's right. so strange to me because at least half of acting is your voice. So these guys yeah. are doing a really right. great, I mean, they're like, millions of people are watching or listening to them at least. And it's kind of crazy to me that they wouldn't receive... I mean, I don't, I don't know that's entirely true because there's so many people who are so loyal to voice actors for things like mm -hmm. cartoons and anime that you have to imagine there has to be some sort of similar feelings for these guys who are voicing over people. Yeah, and what's his name had a pretty gorgeous, much younger mm -hmm. wife, so. There you go. They have to have some. But I mean, look, I mean, yeah. what's, what's the name of the dude who does, um, who does Homer Simpson? Dan? I don't even know. Dan Castellano yeah, or something. Like that, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't know what he what looked like. I mean, if I was if I was the usher at a movie theater and this guy tried to bum rush a movie, he's like, no, that's really my voice. I'm Homer Simpson. I'd be like, yeah, right, okay. But I guess it's it's yeah. a, kind of a bigger deal now. You talked about anime and things like that, and I know a lot of voice actors that I mean that we've even met, work, even working in film, like you know Yuri Lowenthal, and Tara Platt, and Matt Mercer. These guys are actually kind of big stars on their own, right. and pe and they. They'll go to conventions and there'll be longer lines for them than some actor actors. It's mm. it's crazy because they've done so many video games or animes or things like that. So I, I'd imagine if it was like that in America, it would have to be something like that in Italy. That's it's such a big yeah, deal. Yeah, you're right. There probably is more of a cult. That I, maybe they were framing that. And mm. that's interesting though. We're I didn't being know humble that. about it. Yeah, exactly. It's interesting though that I didn't know that there was like large followings for voice actors. I, I had yeah, no it's idea. It's getting bigger too. Because you know, back in like the '80s and '90s, it was kind of a oh, here's an anime. We we got to put something on it. Now, they take that really seriously, right. and it's done. And th these guys are celebrities, genuinely in their own right. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. The real question is, how the hell? Did a USC student production get Elijah Wood <laughs> to show? Well, up my, you know what he. Um, I wish I remembered. There is actually an answer to it, and when uh, when I saw it at Palm Springs, um, and he was he was actually the only director in his uh, series that showed up that day, um, so he had the stage to himself, and he um, spoke very eloquently for about ten minutes or so about the process, and he did touch on that. Um, and I don't remember the exact story, but it, it does have something to do with someone knew somebody and, and that's basically how it was. You know, if he had been, if he had been a student filmmaker at uh, a film school, large or small, in any other city, he probably wouldn't have had that opportunity. That's why you go to USC Film School. Thanks for watching. If you want more information about how Short on Shorts works, or how you can submit your film for consideration, just click right here. And if you want to watch more episodes of Short on Shorts, click right here. You see this area right here? Point. Yep, right there. Click there. <laughs>